hello guys welcome back to our channel so today we are here with a different kind of super badge which is nothing but a data categorization and access super badge unit so for this particular super badge we have already completed all the prerequisite given so if you have any doubt regarding any of this prerequisite do check our video and for this super badge also we need a special developer edition organization which i have already completed with all the steps so i'm just going to launch this directly if you are having any doubt regarding how to connect with developer edition organization do check our video which we have posted for how to connect with developer edition organization in our channel so let's take up this challenge now so here let's go to object manager and click on account fields and relationship so here we are going to create a new field and relationship for this account for that we need to copy this field label which is a service plan pin so copy that and our data type is number click on number and click on next so here we are going to paste the field label so paste it and field name is auto populated and give length as 4 and for description we need to copy the description which is given here click on next and here just click on visible and double click on that to uncheck all the checkbox and here we are going to select only system administrator and click on next now click on save so we have successfully created one such field for account object so we are going to repeat the same so click on new and here select uh, text data type which is given with encrypted option and click on next and here we are just going to paste the field label and field name is auto populated one and for length we are going to provide it as 12 and for description we are going to just copy the same and paste it over here and for uh, mask type we are just going to give mask all characters and mask character as asterisk click on next so here at visible I am going to repeat the same which we have done before and click for uh, system administrator and before that let we change this mask type as last four characters clear as per our given requirement so for visible I am just going to select checkbox for uh, system administrator click on next and click on save now and now let's create a um, field for contact data type so for that go to object manager click on contact copy this field label and click on fields and relationship and here we are just going to create a new field and relationship click on new and now click on text encryptor and next so here i'm just going to paste the same field label and field name is auto populated length should be 9 and for description i'm just going to paste the field information and here for uh, mask type i'm just going to select a social security number with same asterisk character and now let's scroll down and click on next and repeat the same process here I'm going to check for uh, system administrator and click on next click on save and we are now going to create for opportunity object so go to object manager and search for opportunity click on that 
and now fields and relationship click on new field and here I'm going to select text area long and click on next now so for field label we are just going to paste it over here and click on next here we are going to repeat the same for system administrator click on next and save let's check our first challenge now so yeah guys we have successfully completed our first challenge so let's take up our second challenge which is nothing but a configure field access so for this challenge we need to go to setup home and in quick find search for permission set click on permission sets and here we are going to select account management now go to object settings click on accounts and here we are just going to edit this from here scroll down and go to service plan pin check the box for service plan pin and tax id scroll up and click on save now let's uh, go to our accounts drop down and click on contact and click on edit and here we need to check the checkbox for our pre-created contact object field which is a social security number and click on save now let's do it for opportunity so scroll down and search for opportunity and here click on edit we are going to check this for closed loss reason click on save now let's go to our assets let's click on edit and here we are going to enable for serial number so make sure it is already enabled if it is already enabled click on save and now let's go to our permission sets and here i'm just going to select opportunity management search for that and click on opportunity management for object setting we are just going to edit certain features now click on accounts followed by edit so here i'm just going to select checkbox for tax id and service plan pin click on save now let's go to contact click on contacts and click on edit so here we are going to select checkbox for birth date as well as social security number click on save now go to opportunity click on edit so here i'm just going to select checkbox for closed loss reason click on save so now let's do it for assets too go to assets click on edit and here i'm just going to select for serial number make sure you are clicking on the correct checkbox click on save now let's go to permission set groups 
you click on account executive and followed by muting permission set and group so click on that you click on object settings so for object setting go to accounts click on edit so here we are just going to select this for service plan pin followed by tax id click on save now let's switch to contacts click on contacts edit and select for social security number and click on save now let's go to assets click on edit select checkbox for serial number and click on save let's go back to our permission set groups so now let's select sales manager muting permission set in group click on sales manager muter and here we need to choose object settings for account object we are just going to edit and repeat the process which we have done for previous created object now let's click on edit and here we are going to repeat the same process again for service plan pin as well as tax id click on save now let's switch to contact make sure that you are selecting contacts here not a contracts so i'm selecting contacts click on edit and here we are going to choose social security number click on save now let's go to our permission set groups and click accounting and follow the same steps muting permission set in group click on object settings and here i'm going to choose accounts again click on edit scroll down and select checkbox near service plan pin click on save and now let's go to our contacts click on edit and here let's check that social security number checkbox is not selected and click on save now let's go to opportunity click on opportunities and here we are going to edit this as well and i'm going to select this checkbox for close loss reason and click on save now select assets over here click on edit and here make sure that you are uncheck this serial number checkbox and click on save so once it is saved let's go back to our permission set groups and here i'm going to select call center agent 
and just repeat the same steps again click on object settings followed by accounts click on edit and here we need to make sure our tax id is selected and service plan pin checkbox should be unchecked and click on save and now let's switch to our contacts click on contacts and here we are going to edit it make sure birth date read access muted is unchecked and social security number is checked for both click on save now let's get back to opportunities click on edit and here we are going to select this checkbox for close lost reason click on save and now for assets click on assets and click on edit scroll down and make sure that we are selecting serial number and click on save so yeah guys we are done with it and make sure you are following all the steps which we have given here now let's check our second challenge and yeah guys we have successfully completed our second challenge too and if in case if you are getting any error over here for the second challenge go back to your account executive and click on edit and your checkbox should be looking same like this for serial number make sure this is unchecked for read access muted and it should be checked only for edit access muted so if you have done with this click on save and check your challenge it should be passed here so now let's take up our last challenge So let's mark the answers and let's check this challenge now so yeah guys we have successfully completed this super badge too if you find this video useful do subscribe to our channel see you all on next video until then bye bye